Hey, hi everyone. This is Prabhat, co-founder Nectate. Today, I'll walk you through Nectate Decision Engine and show you how easily you can build, manage, and iterate complex rules and workflows in just a matter of minutes. But first, uh, let me give you a quick overview of Nectate. Nectate is a lightweight plug-and-play low-code, no-code platform designed to act as a central decision engine for companies of all sizes. It empowers you to build, automate, and refine complex data-driven logics as well as workflows by leveraging data from multiple data sources. It enables dynamic and evolving business-wide use cases such as pricing, discounts, rewards, incentives, and even policies like underwriting, claims, insurance, approvals, and more. Here's what makes Nectar stand out. It's fast and user-friendly, so you can build workflows on any kind of a rules in less than 30 minutes, and you can iterate within a few minutes. Uh, it has a business-friendly UI, which empowers even non-technical teams to manage rules and workflows independently, reducing an unnecessary burden over the IT team. Third, it's highly scalable and cost-effective. While it can definitely be used for any real-time mission-critical use cases where you need response in milliseconds, but it can also be used for Batch processing where you need to process millions and millions of records within a few hours. So let's jump into the product demo. So any automation is effectively a three-step process. First step is integrating your data sources to feed in data points to your rules and flows. The second is actually building those logics and steps to process the data and create an outcome, which we call as decisions. And the third step is about consuming those outcomes back into your systems. It could it could be sending it to your customers or to your vendors or storing back into your databases, right? Or or any of your external sources. To start with, we do have out of the box integration with all the databases as well as Excel. And for any other tools, we do have this low code API connect. You can connect with any third party system like SAP, Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamic, Atresa using our API connectors. We do support all kind of an authentication. So there has not been any tool so far which we have not been able to integrate over Nectar. Once these integrations are in place, which takes like few minutes, you can actually pull or push data back and forth from Nectar to your systems. Second step is the rules. This is where all the rules are being managed and iterated. Going back, as I mentioned, this, it's a three-step process that we see for any automation. The first is about feeding in your data from multiple data sources. So there are three ways wherein you can feed in data. First is a direct attribute where you can define anything as per your convention so as to pass it along the API to Nectar and process it accordingly. Second way is to connect your database directly for Nectar to pull in the data automatically so that you don't have to send it yourself I'll, I'll show it that in a bit and the third is api where you can if you don't have access to database directly you can pull it via some api again which i'll show you in a bit once you have configured everything becomes no code so all the data points will be present in a drop down here for anyone to pick and choose to build any kind of a conditions so in here you just have to pick the data point select the operators we do support all kind of an operators and then type in any kind of a values to it you can on the fly you can change add remove conditions as well as you can go one label nested to build more complex and in our condition this is by the way one type of ui we do have other types of uis also which i'll show you but fundamentally uh, the concept remain the same once you have built conditions, you can then set up an outcome. We do support all kind of data types. So you can define whatever result that you want as a part of those matching conditions. So if you want some kind of a price, discount, final price, or even a message that you want to send back to your customer or to your systems. So this is where you can actually have these messages also. For the price, uh, you can either use a constant value like 100, or you can actually pull in the value from your database or API to pick it. Everything, every rule, every workflow or Nectar is by default exposed over an API to trigger it. This is the payload as defined in the directly. This is the payload as has been defined in the direct attributes. 
we do support webhooks also so if you want to invoke this tool as a part of an event then you can definitely call this webhook another way is to create a schedule so that the tool can be triggered based on those periodic frequency set by you don't have to trigger it manually we are also coming with event queues where we will be providing integrations with kafka's rabbit queues amqp protocols so that you can actually trigger these rules flows via event we do have multiple staging and production environments so in the api that you see this is the staging environment that you work on uh, once everything is tested everything is fine then you can publish it to the production environment once you are ready with the rule we do have this online ui where you can test the rule for different scenarios click on it see what is working not working you can change these scenarios test it and if you see the response time this is where i was talking that we are at for real time machine critical flows where we respond within 60 to 80 milliseconds based on the type of rules that we have to go through approval process so now the test once the testing is done you can publish it to production or even can submit it for approval if you don't want to publish it directly to production so what we have talked about is the data feed from multiple sources i'll, I'll show you the database and api building the rules triggering it via api but then the third step is where i said con consuming the outcomes of those rules this is where you can actually use our connectors to do some actions so if you have to trigger some kind of an api to update it into your sap salesforce microsoft uh, what you can do is use those integrations everything here is tokenized so you can actually use any kind of an input database attributes or output tokens uh, if it is a json you can actually build a dynamic json again it's a one-time setup which can be done by a tech team or analyst and once it is done you can actually consume the sections now let me show you how you can connect your database or apis directly so so that you don't have to send it as direct attributes here so to connect with database first you have to do is integration click on database connector to which you want to go to, go to the integrations click on the connector go to the integration click on the connector database that you want to connect it's a simple form step where you can just provide the credential if you are using a self-hosted version you can you don't need to do anything but if you are using a SaaS offering you can also whitelist this ip so that no one else will be able to access your database everything is encrypted secure safe you can test in a connection publish so we work in staging you can just test in staging publish in staging mine is already published so again we as i said we have two environments so you can use plus both once the integration is done you wouldn't like to fetch all data at once to the next day but only the selected one so this is where we have built this query layer wherein you can just connect with your database write a low code query on our query builder unifying all your data in a way that you want to push it to the rule i have already have one kind of data so this is where you can unify any kind of your customer previous orders previous histories anything that you want to come collect click on it and these are the attributes which you can also label by the way for your business teams so these are the attributes that will now be present in the rule automatically without you needing to send it and i'll show you how so let me go back to the rule now if i click on it i'll go to the next step where i'll say map with data source so i'll click on it i'll select the query that i have built and then map the primary key using which i'll have to fetch the other data so in this case we are passing a customer number using which we'll need to fetch all the data that is there in my database for that customer so these are the attributes that are coming from my query so I'll have, I'll have to just map this customer id to the attribute in my database and i'll be able to fetch all the data if you'll go and click on this no code builder so this is the database that is a data query that i have attached and these are the attributes that are automatically coming from my database without you needing to send it now again it's a no code where you can just pick on the attribute that you want to use and build any kind of a condition that you want to build over those data points again if i'll go back to this api signature you won't see any api payload being changed while we have already incorporated 
10 to 15 more data points dynamically but the API integration need not be changed. This way you can always enhance or evolve your rules without needing to change or without any, any, any code. Similarly, if I go back and click on API, this is the same way I can just pull in data from my third party APIs or my or internal ones. All I have to do is choose the connector that I built, write this dynamic query using the tokens. So in this mockup API, I am fetching some kind of a user detail in terms of the past score, credit history and all. I just do get and when I click on the fetch, these are the data attributes that are coming automatically from this API which will now be available in my rules to build any conditions. So if I click on save and close, if I go back to my attributes, these were the direct input attributes. These are the user details that I have just configured and these are the attributes which are automatically coming. Nectar have automatically detected their data type and again have converted them into a no code conditions to be built by anyone. All you have to do is click on it and, and select any kind of an operator as you want to do. So in summary, what I have shown you as how you can integrate data points from multiple data sources in one go to be used in the rule. Everything will be a drop down for tech teams and non-tech teams to pick it up and build any kind of a conditions, be it as complex as you want. Set up any kind of an outcome against the matching conditions to, to send that response, send that outcome back. And while everything will be exposed over API and webhook to call up this rule accordingly, as well as to schedule it Further, if you want to consume the outcomes of the rules to send it back to your systems, you can use our connectors and actions where you can actually build any kind of update insert queries or any kind of a REST API queries. And everything is dynamic using all the tokens that you can use using custom imports, data sets, or output tokens. So we do also have some formulas, which is Excel based. In here, you can actually write up any kind of a formula that you want to consume again everything is tokenized where you can write so again everything if you need some kind of a mathematical aggregation of formula we have this formula type as a result which can be used in condition as well as in result all you have to do is just click on it and you can write any kind of a mathematical formula or condition that you want to set up here. So this is how you can build any kind of a complex formula to be used in condition or in the result. To go even further one label complex if something is not being met by these no code conditions the tick team can actually turn it into a code. So for that they can go into or a low code kind of a editor. So this is where we have this JavaScript editor in build the rule where you can write any kind of a JavaScript again using any kind of a token and just set up test it out and this way you can write any kind of a complex data manipulation transformation calculations that you have to do which you are not able to do in a no code. This is specifically for the tech but gives you an utmost flexibility to automate any kind of a complex condition as you may need. We also have this rule policies. So these are the rows which will be processed in parallel. Then the policies can be used to determine how to manage the conflict. So we do have first matching policies, unique matching, collect, which will return all the matching result, as well as evaluate all, which will actually evaluate all the condition, will return you true and false in case where they're false. So now that I have shown you decision table, as I also mentioned that we have different type of UIs which can be used for different type of rules. So first is we have simple rule as we say. This is nothing but like complex FNLs where you can have nested level of conditions. Again the fundamental remain the same where you can just fill in multiple data points, have all the rules invoked through API and do the actions as needed. But it's just the UI and the way the rules are built. It can go much nested compared to this table. Then we also have this rule set where if you have different rules, 
based on your geography based on your customer based on your views but eventually you want to club everything in one then you can use the rule set we can just group multiple rules and a single api to call everything at once this way tech team doesn't have to worry about integrating each and each and every rule differently but the single api all the business can actually keep adding or removing the the rule sets is to evolve the rule accordingly again just like decision table there are policies to handle the conflicts among different rules so you can choose the policy in terms of how do you want to manage the conflicts it's first matching unique collect collect will return all the matching result evaluate all will actually execute every rule and will return you whichever match whichever doesn't match so for the rule chain you can actually use our workflow editor this is nothing but where you can just open the workflow editor click on plus click on rule and select the rules that you want to call and create a chain of this we have talked about workflow in details in another section so you can look into it but this is where you can actually consume outcome of one rule and send it as an input to another rule to create a chain of rules and accordingly execute the whole flow so with this said i'll jump on to some non functional features as well which will help you to manage these rules life cycles over nectar so we first thing is we do have versioning so you can you will be able to see what all versions have been published and even you can roll it back we can also execute multiple versions so in cases where you want to keep multiple versions because of some backward compatibilities you can keep it and you can actually execute multiple versions via api uh, we do also have approvals so you can actually if you don't want things to be published in production directly you can set up approval as mandatory in the workspace setting then we also have dependency maps so in, so this can be used to determine where on this rule is being used so that you can have you can know the impact of that whatever that you are changing and then we also have audit trails so this is where you can see whatever is happening in terms of who has done what if it is a success error if it is a success what's the response time and everything will be recorded here from both debugging and compliance perspective then we also have access control this is where you can invite your team members to actually based on the permission that they have be it admin approval editor viewer tech is the role who have access to only the connectors and the credentials uh, and this is how you can manage the workspace access but if you want to give individual rule access then we do also have access control over individual rules where you can manage who has access to what rule and what permission we do also have import export so you can actually export any of the rule or any of the workflow and then import it back into any of nectar installation it's a one click export wherein we'll export everything that is required by the rule as a dependency except the credentials and then you can actually import everything at once into your new installations this is helpful when you have multiple environments or multi installation or you are migrating from saas offering to self hosted one last thing we do offer self hosted version as well along with our saas offering so in this you can actually set up the whole rule engine into your premise or in your cloud and that way you will have all your data within your servers while our saas offerings as well as self hosted both are soc2 compliant iso and gdpr compliant but still we understand uh, when it comes to data safety and if there are compliance to be met that's where we are offering both kind of a deployments as as the company would require so thanks for being patient and hearing about nectar i'm sure you would have seen how nectar can benefit automating any of your complex decisions integrating any of your data sources and helping just not your tech but non tech teams to effectively build and iterate those rules and flows in minutes i'm happy to talk to discuss further in your challenges and needs that you want to solve or your use cases that you're looking forward to implement in nectar our team would love to help you and navigate with you to solve all your challenges you can reach us at assist@nectar.ai or you can talk to our customer care on the numbers mentioned on the website and we'll be glad to help thank you thanks everyone